Okay, today we are going to be removing the new Advanced Security Tool 2010 Rogue. And this one is pretty simple to remove as well, but it's, it'll give you problems if you try to uh, remove it in safe mode. So we're going to do it all from, uh, well, regular mode, I guess you could call it. And you might notice that uh, some of the websites you go to are redirected in Internet Explorer only, not in any other browsers, I don't think. So, it's a pretty simple process for removing this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is download rkill, and rkill is the very useful utility for killing processes that are going to get in our way when we try to remove this rogue. And you can get it from one of the links provided in the description. So I'll just go ahead and grab it. And you might uh, get redirected sometimes. Just keep putting in the link until it works. So you go ahead and save it to the desktop. Close. Now run our kill. You're going to get this uh, command prompt window. It takes about 30 seconds to kill everything. And at the end you get a nice log showing what our kill has terminated. And our kill will go ahead and reload your desktop. Now we're going to go download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And Malwarebytes will completely remove this rogue and the, um, the registry keys that don't allow you to go into safe mode. So you can download it from the links provided. Now that you have saved the setup file, go ahead and run it and install Malwarebytes. Make sure you have update and launch checked and click finish. This will automatically update the uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware database and then bring up the scanner. And previous users of Malwarebytes anti-malware will want to go to the update tab and check for updates just to make sure you have the latest database version. Now you can go back to the scanner Make sure Quick Scan is ticked and click Scan. And this usually takes anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. So just go take a break and come back in about 5 minutes. My scan has completed in 4 minutes and 40 seconds. So you can just dismiss this dialog box, click OK, and click Show Results. And you're going to see all of the uh, files that Malwarebytes has found and all of the hijacked registry keys which was corrupting um, safe mode. So just make sure they're all checked and click remove selected. It will go ahead and quarantine all those files and then delete them. Close this log and click yes to restart your computer now that um, all those files are removed. And it is imperative that you do restart because Malwarebytes might have some problems if you don't reboot directly after cleaning. Okay, we're almost done with the cleaning process. All we have to do is delete our kill and the Malwarebytes setup file. So you can just send those over to the recycle bin if you want to. And it's like the rogue was never even there. And that is pretty much it for removing Advanced Security Tool 2010. Remember to keep your Windows up to date, keep your antivirus program up to date, and thank you for watching.